Hey there, welcome to the training for customers for Christmas. Now this is a really important training in the calendar year. It's one that I've deployed to my Million Dollar Store Elite team and they've implemented and they're seeing amazing results. Now the reason I did this training was on the back of Black Friday and Cyber Monday, everybody is spent out. They've overspent, they've got all the things for themselves but they've forgotten to buy presents for their friends or they're not sure what to buy or they're just not sure you know, who to go to. Often they'll have a present they need to get for you know, someone at work or some friends or a secret Santa or something like that. So we put together this framework that you can use so that you can set your store up to be the number one place for them to go for the thing that you sell. The other cool thing about this strategy is once you set it up this one time, you can just pick it up and use it next year. Okay, so it not only can serve you now, it can serve you in the future. So let's get straight into the training. So customers for Christmas is what we all want. Now the reason that we're doing this is we wanna make the most of this month. And this is the month where people have their wallets open. They've had it open for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, but now they've got it open because it's a gifting month and they wanna buy gifts for people. The month opens, we wanna get the squeeze out of the juice in this month, all right? The second thing is we wanna make sure that we have the right message at the right time. We're not in a sales period now, we're in a gifting period. So it's not all about discounts and clearing stock and being the best sale that there is there. It's all about making sure that we put the message in front of the right person at the right time. So if I'm buying something for my wife, I wanna look for presents for my wife. If I'm buying something for my kids, I wanna look for presents for my kids. So I wanna make sure that I'm at the right place at the right time. The other thing that's important here is if I was buying for my family, and I, and I will be buying for my family, I want them to frame my options, right? My wife might be into certain things. She might be like yoga and Pilates. Where my kids, they might be into Bluey. They might be into, you know, Gabby's Dollhouse or something like that. Or they might be into dancing and ballet. So I want to make sure that I get a gift that is right for where they are and what they're interested in. And this is where this is gift guide is really, really powerful. The other thing that's important is as a brand, we wanna give our customers gift ideas. Sometimes, and maybe I'm being a little sexist to myself here, but us guys just don't know what to buy people. And we'll go and ask our, our significant other and we'll say, hey, what do you want? They're like, oh, I don't mind, just buy me anything. So for the people that just tell you to buy anything, we wanna to go to a trusted brand and they give us ideas on what to buy. So that's one thing, we wanna get given the gift ideas. The other thing that's really important is we wanna know who's getting gifted. So we want the person to know if we're buying for our daughters, our wives, all those sorts of things, who is it that's getting gifted? And are we setting up our site, are we merchandising our site in such a way that we know exactly where to go, where to buy, how much to buy and who it's going to, okay? So is our site set up that way? So what I want you guys to think about as a brand owner or a store owner or something like that, we want you to help them help you, okay? As a brand owner, we wanna help our customers make it easy for them to buy the gift for their loved one, buy the gift for the person they need to give. Now, I wanna break this up into three key areas. There's three gifting types that we buy for. So if we think about when we go to the shops, we've got three types of people we are gonna buy for. And I'm gonna take you through that right now. So we've got three different ways of who people are purchasing for. So you can put yourself into the mind of this, right? So who are we purchasing for? The first people we're purchasing for in most cases are our friends and family, all right? So that is our wives, our husbands, our partners, our kids, you know, our sisters, our brothers. That's our friends and family. And they're the main people that we choose to buy for first. They're our primary purchase, our primary gifting. The next part is what I like to call our gotta gifts. Now, the gotta gifts are the people you just gotta buy a gift for, right? Like it's, uh, you might not really want to, but you just know you've got to. So it's the workmate. It's the person you go down to the sports club with. It is the person you've grown up with, but they're your neighbors. You know, it's the people you've got to gift. Uh, might be a secret Santa or a Kris Kringle present. It's just the one that you need to buy every single year. And that's just a category. So we, we might just go in like, oh, I've just gotta get a gift. What is it we're gonna buy? It's something that's maybe not overly emotive. It's just a good present that we wanna buy them, all right? So they're called our gotta gifts. And then the last one is our last minute gifts. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm not overly planned when it comes to gift giving. I'm too busy running my businesses and, and doing those sorts of things. So sometimes I'm last minute. Now, these are the three types of people. We've got to buy for our family and friends. They're the people we love, we care for, and we, we consider that purchase. The gotta gifts, again, they're the people that we have to buy the gift for. We, we, we might want to buy it for them, but we know we've got to do it. And the last minute is the O-S-H-I-T moment, right? It's the moment that says, we really got to buy this thing uh, and you know, Christmas is two days away, what are we gonna do? That's the last minute gifts. So the best way to structure these three types of presents is what we call a Christmas gift guide. And you might've seen this in lots of different stores, all right? So you go to your favorite brand and they'll always have a Christmas gift guide. 
And the reason they do that is because they want to structure these gift guides for those three buying personas. Buying for the loved one, buying for the person you have to buy for, and then the last minute gift, okay? So I'm gonna give you some examples of how this looks, and then I'm gonna give you the framework to allow you to implement it into your store. So let's have a look here. We've now got this uh, brand here, which is Mecca. Mecca is a ladies brand that does lots of makeup and all the things that I don't really wear. But Mecca is here. So you can see this is their page, the Mecca Holiday Gift Guide. And you can see here, they've got these got a gifts or these are budget based gifts. So often people buy based on budget in this time of year. So they've got all these amazing things here, which is, you know, gifts under $25, gifts under 50, gifts under 100, et cetera, et cetera, all right? So not only that, they then have shops by category. Okay, so if you're looking for a makeup gift, you've got it here. Something for skincare, you've got it here. Really makes it super easy. Fragrances, hair gifts. So we're seeing that they're chunking the things up here so that it makes it easy for you to make the purchase. They're putting the products that they know you're gonna want to make your buying decision easier. So if you're buying 10 to 15 gifts for people, you just wanna make it quick and easy, right? You just wanna go in, okay, I've got the thing for them. They like hair, I'm gonna get that. I don't like it. I like hair, but I don't have any. Uh, they like makeup, I'm gonna get them that. They need skincare, gonna get them that. So see how it really frames it for them? Let's have a look. Let's, let's keep digging on this one. We go back down and we can see that we've got um, pampering season. Then they talk about their favorite gifts. So they're really making it easy what other people buy. Let's have a look at another store here. So this is a, an Australian store, uh, JB Hi-Fi. It's a bit like a Best Buy or something like that um, that has mainly Hi-Fi and home appliances qu equipment. But these guys are really good. Not only do they have a video of a Christmas gift guide, uh, they then do the same sort of thing. Shop gifts under, so because people shop by budget for Christmas. And then now they're framing that for us. So we've got shop kids gift ideas, gaming gift ideas, teen gifts. So you could think if you've got a kid that's into gaming or a partner that's into gaming, you go to the gaming section. If it's for kids or teens, you go to the teen section. See what's happening here? They're just making it easy for us. So they're building a gift guide that allows it, that makes it easier for us to shop. Let's keep going down. Look at this, all these sort of things. Home entertainer gifts. So you know, if, you're, if you love uh, entertaining at home with cinemas and things like that, uh, we go through. And then some of their best sellers. Uh, and then this is the really cool part, which I'm gonna I'm looking forward to showing you this about. This is the SEO aspect to a gift guide. Now, a gift guide actually lives forever in the background of your site. If we create it now, we sit it in the background so that next Christmas we just bring it back to the front, we change the date, and we're good to go. What that means is from an SEO perspective, your site could actually start to rank for the keywords on that gift guide. So imagine we had best gifts for gamers and you had a gaming site or best gifts for sneaker heads and we had a site that sold sneakers. Best gifts for boxing professionals and we had a site that sold boxing gloves. See what's happening here? If we have a page on our store that has the right keywords in it and it lives there all the time, we're gonna rank for it. So when Christmas comes and they type in best gifts, what's gonna happen? A gift guide's gonna show up, all right? So this is what this brand is doing here. They're doing amazing SEO. So this is all SEO related keywords. This doesn't necessarily help people to buy because they're not really going down here. It just helps this page to rank. All right, now let's go one other example and then we'll get straight to the business. So Dimix, it's a bookstore, okay, uh, here in Australia as well. They have the same sort of thing, gifts for, amazing, yeah, gifts for her, gifts for him, gifts for teachers, gifts for baby, kids, teens, travelers, food, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know what I mean? They are making it easy. I think you're getting my point. So imagine you could make one of these on your store. How good would that be? So what I've done is I've created a framework that it makes it easy for you to understand. All right, let's go through it. And you can download this PDF as well. So it's down below. So I'm just gonna go through some more of these examples. But this is it here. This is the Christmas gift guide framework. And as you can see, we've got family and friends, we've got the guide of gifts, and we've got the last minute gifts. So what this is gonna let you do is unpack what you sell in your store and who it's for, all right? And then it's gonna give you the framework so you can build it out in your own gift guide page, all right? So for your family and friends, I want you to think about of the products that you sell, who would they be most suitable for? Are they suitable for the wife, the husband, the partner, someone else, okay? And then if we put ourselves in who we're buying for, okay, what are those people interested in? So is the wife interested in yoga, you know, or is she interested in Pilates, um, et cetera, et cetera, or is she interested in running, okay? So think about what their interests are. And then we've got to work out what products and collections are suited, all right? So it might be yoga mats, it might be running towel, et cetera, et cetera. Sorry about my mess you're writing. You know what I'm putting down. All right, 
So once we've got that, we then go through and we fill this out. So we've come up with the things for, that we're buying for our loved ones. And you can imagine what we do here. Then we can say gifts for wife, gifts for your wife. You know, what to buy your wife who loves to run, what to buy your husband who loves yoga. All right. So we then can start to unpack it a little bit and we're not trying to be everything to everyone. We're just trying to really nail in who this product is best suited for. The second part is our got a gift. Now got a gifts are usually budget constraint. And we know that if we're gonna buy a gift for someone at work or a Kris Kringle, we're usually limited to the amount we're gonna spend. They might say we're gonna spend $20, $50, $100, whatever, right? People have a budget. So this is the got a gift budget that we're thinking about. So I need to think about in your world, what is it gonna be? What is the, how much are they prepared to spend? All right, what budget categories are we playing towards here? And then why are they actually buying it? They're buying it for like a Kris Kringle or a Bad Santa, you know, or is it a donation to a charity? Completely different story. Or you're giving it to a teacher or a coach or something like that. Maybe an e-commerce coach. <laughs> but yeah, have a think about who they would be buying it for, all right? So when we know that, then we can format our site and they say, best gifts for Kris Kringle, best gifts for teachers, things like that, okay? Uh, now, if it's not on here, obviously we've got these little sections here where you can fill your own in if it's a got a gift, you know, best gifts for sisters or something like that, if that's who you think you got a gift to. And then what I want you to do is think about uh, of these people here, what are the best products suited to, you know, your under 50s or for teachers or coaches or what's a Kris Kringle present and really start to frame this up here. All right. Now we move on to the last people and it's the people that's probably me that's buying this. It's the last minute is. So if we look over here on the last minute is, we've got uh, the time frame of when the person needs this. So when do they need it? Within a week, tomorrow, or instantly, right? How urgent is this present? Or is there any other way, right? Is it the day after, is it the day before home delivered? How soon do these guys need it? So if you know that, what options can you actually give these people, all right? Can they get express shipping, you know, so priority shipping, fast shipping, whatever it is. On demand, we might get an Uber to deliver it to someone. Uh, can they come pick it up? Uh, or we can do it digitally with gift cards. So have a think about what gifts you've got on your store that you can send last minute, and we fill that out here. So now that we've got this filled out, we should have a whole list of products in this section here. We should also have our avatars on who we're selling to here, okay? Now that we know that, we can start building out a gift guide. And what I've done for you, because I really like to give you everything, uh, I've given you a little wireframe here. So this is basically the way I want gift guide to look, all right? So we can see here, we've got our family and friends here, section, and we can then talk about who we're sending these gifts to. So this might be gifts for wives, gifts for husbands, gifts for kids, okay? So it's our family and friends. And we've got our got a gift. Now this would be, we don't need to necessarily have the word got a gift there. That might be something like, you know, bad, bad Santa gifts or, you know, Kris Kringle gifts or teacher gifts. But we could break it up into the price points, gifts from, gifts from, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so it all making sense. We've got loved ones, got a gifts, and now the last minute is, and this is ideally a gift card. You know, gift cards we know get delivered instantly, which is great. But if you wanna pick up in store, or we could do our on-demand delivery or express or anything like that. Well, I just wanna advertise it here, all right, team. Uh, and then underneath that, we utilize the information that we've got in the framework and we start building out our little blog here. So the top five gifts for one, whoever your family and friends were, top five gifts for wives who like yoga, all right? Gifts under $25 for yoga people, whatever it could be, all right? So we, we wanna make sure that we talk about the category that you're in because it's gonna be really hard to rank for top, uh, top 50 gifts under $50 because everyone's trying to do that. But it's gonna be a lot easier to rank for top five gifts under $50 for yoga. Or a little bit more specific, a little bit more targeted. It also means the people that are searching for it are more commercial. And what that means is they have more intent and more demand to purchase. All right, and then we've got last minute gifts for your category, last minute gifts for yoga lovers. Now, the way we build this out team, it's so easy. We basically just move into customizer and we set up a collection page. And I've given you an example here. So this is a collection and we would create a Christmas gift guide collection. And then in that, we just use these little sections here to actually build it out in the way that we said. So you would create a, uh, a family and friends collection and you would just use that. You would create a got a gift collection and then you would use that little collection tiles. So you can just use the Shopify customizer to build this out. And then all we do is we link to that collection from your homepage and then you've got a gift guide all set up. That's it. That's, that's, that's pretty much as simple as it is. So I've got this worksheet down below, you can grab it. And underneath that, it's gonna cover everything from 
filling out your gift guide, understanding who it goes to. It's gonna cover the wireframe that you can use. And it's also gonna give you sort of the layout of the SEO and how to use the collection pages to do it. Hopefully you found that useful. Uh, we're using it in our store, it's crushing it. Uh, everyone's loving it. And it's a great way to make sure that people buy from you, they choose you, they pay full price, and they make sure that you are the place to get their Christmas gift from. Love to hear if this video is helpful to you and if this training is helpful to you. Comment down below if you can, wherever you're watching it, um, or would love to chat to you on Facebook. So feel free to join the e-commerce training ground and uh, I'll be there helping everybody out. All right, guys, over and out.